Hi, this is Dr. Desmond Wai from Desmond Wai Liver and Gastro Clinic. Today, I want to share another patient with a high evapita protein. So, I will call it Mr. C. Mr. C, a capital C, okay, is a 36 year old um, expatriate working in Singapore, I think in the financial sector. So, the, he saw me because he went to see a family doctor. He did an overall health screening that includes testing almost everything, including an alpha fetal protein, a cancer marker. A normal alpha fetal protein is about 0 to uh, 8, okay, in the partway lab and in most other lab. His was 27, that was very high. So uh, his doctor calmly reassured him that, well, 27 is very high, normal is 0 to uh, 8. Uh, we say that in the past, alpha fetal protein normal range is 0 to 15. He has shortened to 0 to 8 recently, so a lot of patients with alpha fetal protein between uh, 8 to 15, they end up not having cancer. So, but his is 27, that's very high, but he had no risk factor for liver cancer. So his family doctor referred, uh, told him the options. He chose to have it repeated 3-4 months later. So about 3-4 months later, the alpha fetal protein increased from 27 to 33. So the guy was very, very worried, okay? So the GP uh, referred to me for testing. When I saw Mr. C, I went through his notes, I talked about him with the history. Again, uh, as a hepatologist, we look for a few things. First, does he have a risk factor for liver cancer? That means uh, does he have hepatitis B, hepatitis C? Does he drink a lot of alcohol? Does he have fatty liver with liver cirrhosis? Does he have cirrhosis of any sort? So we went through the history and examination and an in, in investigation, he had none of the above. So no risk factor for liver cancer. Second thing is I look through his liver test. If there are liver cancer, besides having high AFP, they often have abnormal liver profile, a low pleasure count, and they may feel, uh, and, and he didn't have that either. I then look for symptoms of liver cancer, such as feeling tired, weight loss, yelling of the eye, leg swelling, uh, abdominal distension from ascites, a liver palm, or what we call spider nevi. He didn't have either. So I told him, Mr. C, even though your ARP increased from 37 to 33, um, we, you don't have a normal liver function, you have no risk factor for liver cancer, you have no symptom of liver cancer. By probability, you probably don't have anything, but the high C, uh, AFP is a concern. So remember, we talk about it, I said when you have a high cancer marker, we can either investigate a lot or we can repeat it a few months later. For him, he had tested it and it was elevated. So I told him, well, even though I think you don't have anything serious, we have to go through the investigation. An alpha fetal protein can be up in germ cell tumor in a man, it will be in the mediastinum or the testis. In a female, it can be in the mediastinum or the ovary. Um, his GP has really done a testicular ultrasound that show no mass yeah, in the testis. I also asked my male patient, well, when you shower yourself, just examine your testicles every day, make sure there's no swelling. Yeah, For female, it will be the breast, for men, it will be the testicles, make sure, something that you can assess too easily. So then I told him better do a more extensive test. I did the MRI of the abdomen with contrast. We scan the MRI, normal, nothing. We do an X-ray, means them normal. So I told him at that time that, well, sir, even though you have high cancer marker, we don't find any cancer. And rarely, AFP can also be found in lymphoma, in a kidney cell cancer. When we scan the liver, we scan the kidney at the same time, it was normal. So I told Mr. C, I, I, even though AFP increased, there was no evidence of cancer. So at that time, there was about four or five months ago, I told him, let's repeat it, maybe four or five months later. He came back about five months later, repeated the alpha fetal protein, it is still at 33. So I met him and say, look, Mr. C, your AFP was 33 uh, four or five months ago, and that was uh, extensively evaluated, it was negative. Now it is still 33 five months later. Based on this alone, it cannot be cancer because cancer patients, the cancer marker will just keep going up until and unless we treat the cancer. We didn't treat him with anything and he improved. Okay, I mean, his cancer marker remains stable. So I told him that maybe you're just one of those patients that I have in the past that they're born with high cancer marker for no reason. Uh, we, ex we evaluate extensively. At the moment, your cancer marker is still normal. Uh, sorry, it's still elevated, but, but no change, no increase. 33 to 33 over five month period. So I think most likely yours is just a, you know, you're born with a high cancer marker with no cancer. 
So he cheerful, he, he believed in me and he accepted it. And we say, let's move on and just follow up and see, okay? So I just want to bring up a few points. The first is that we don't like to do, use cancer marker to screen for cancer in the general public unless they have a risk level of liver cancer. Uh, CA, C99, AFP, we don't recommend doing it routinely for people with no risk level for cancer. But if we do have a high cancer marker, look out for any risk level for liver cancer, look out for any symptoms, look out for any associated tests that are negative. If the cancer marker remains stable over time, it is unlikely to be cancer. So this is another case of a false positive raised alpha beta protein that end up not having cancer. So if you have a high cancer marker, go through this question that I mentioned, symptom for cancer, a uh, uh, trend of the cancer marker, risk factor for the cancer, and discuss with your family doctor uh, to see if further tests need to be done. Thank you for listening. This is Dr. Desmond Wai.